Hello and welcome to this video on EMSR, Expected Marginal Seat Revenue. This is the next in a series of videos on optimization models for revenue management. And today we're going to go into detail on this very popular optimization model called EMSR. Uh, EMSR was developed uh, by Peter Bello Baba. Let's see, write that down. Baba uh, at MIT. It was his dissertation topic in 1987. And you will find throughout the world today that this is still the most popular model used, even though there's been quite a lot of research since then. Now, EMSR is a leg level model, leg level, and the control mechanism, the inventory control mechanism that it calculates are protection levels. And EMSR is an extension of Littlewood's rule. So let me let me write that down here. So here is Littlewood's rule, and Littlewood's rule is the foundation for EMSR. EMSR is an extension of Littlewood's rule. So you really need to understand Littlewood's rule before you understand EMSR. And I made three videos on Littlewood's rule. So if you haven't viewed those yet, you may want to go and take a look at those first because I'm not going to repeat all of the intuition that goes behind this rule because it would be redundant. I'll just take a very quick review here. So Littlewood's rule uh, calculates a protection level theta, so this protection level, at a leg level for two fare classes. In the example we used in the previous videos, there was something called FL for low fare and FH for high fare. And the way you calculate this protection level is you find where this excuse me, where this equality is met. So you set the value of the low fare equal to the expected value from waiting for a higher fare. So we assumed that lower fare customers arrive before higher fare customers. So you could pretend that there was a low fare customer standing in front of you and you had a decision either take that low fare customer or turn that customer away in hopes that a higher fare customer would materialize but there's only some probability that that customer uh, will materialize and this was uh, we said this was the expected value this whole term was the expected value of this higher fare customer well now we're going to just change that term and call it EMSR. It's actually the same thing, expected value, is the expected marginal seat revenue from that higher fare customer. So the way you get ex an expected value is you take some value and then multiply it by the probability of that, that um, value occurring. So the way we interpret this for EMSR is it's the expected, so the expected revenue, so the revenue we get from this fare, from protecting the marginal seat, expected marginal seat revenue. So that means it's the expected value from saving the last seat that's being protected. So for example, let's say that in this case, the protection level turned out to be seven. So theta equals seven. That means that the expected value from the seventh seat is the EMSR. We would find the expected value from protecting the seventh seat if that was equal to the expect or the, the value you get with certainty from the customer standing in front of you, the lower fare customer, then that would be the answer. That would be the protection level that would be set for this higher fare. Now that was a very quick review of three videos that I made previously. So if that uh, if you didn't get all that, you may want to pause and go back and view those videos. So I've created an example we can use to calculate protection levels using EMSR. And there's actually two versions of EMSR. We'll look at both of those, but we're going to start out with EMSR A. And the other version, as you can guess, is EMSR B. We'll get to that later. So take a look at my example here. Pretend this is the fare structure for JFK to Miami. So there's a nonstop flight. There are just four fares in this market. And the fare classes, instead of using letters like YBMH, 
I'm using this subscript J and then I'm just indexing the fares from one through four with the highest fare being on top. Then I have some demand parameters, U and Sigma. So let's pretend there was a forecast of demand and the uh, forecast determined that they have these parameters, mu and sigma. And remember, in Littlewood's rule, we assume that demand followed the normal distribution, and that's what we use to calculate our probabilities. So we're going to calculate protection levels for each of, those, each of these fair classes. And remember, the role of the revenue management system or the revenue management analyst is to ensure that enough seats are set aside or protected for high fare customers when they arrive. We assume that low fare customers arrive first. So the first customers who are going to request seats are those who are willing to pay only $125. We want to make sure that enough seats are protected for the higher class customers so that those seats don't get sold at $125. Then as the $290 customers arrive, we want to make sure that we've protected enough seats for classes one and two so those seats don't get sold at $290. Then finally, when there's only two classes left, we need to protect seats for fair class one from being sold to fair class two. And that leads us into the difference between EMSR and Littlewood's rule. Littlewood's rule calculates the protection level between two classes. So if this market only had two fares, we could use Littlewood's rule to calculate the protection level for fare class one so that those seats don't get sold to $420 customers and we would be done. EMSR allows us to calculate protection levels for any number of fare classes or any number of fares, and certainly there are more than two fares in uh, every airline's markets today. So let me explain what's going on in these columns over here. So the way we just explained the problem we're trying to solve is we are protecting seats. So when these customers arrive, we're protecting seats for all of the classes above th this fare. So we don't want anyone who is willing to per or we don't want any seats that could be sold at 290, 420 or $500 to be sold at $125. To get the EMSR protection levels, we first find how many seats we should protect for the $290 customers against $125. Then we determine how many seats to protect for the $420 customers against the $125 customers, and finally the $500 customers against the $125. And when we're done with that, we sum up all three of those protection levels, and that will be the protection level for class four. So the way this notation works over here is we're going to calculate that you know, protection level four against Three, so J is our class index. We're going to calculate protection levels for the fourth fair class at $125 against the third fair class. So J will iterate from three, two, and one. So we're going to calculate a protection level for four against three, four against two, and four against one. And then we're going to sum those, and that will be our EMSR protection levels. And we'll write them down here. EM, oops, EMSR, uh, thetas. If this notation is at all confusing to you, uh, don't worry about it. We're going to calculate the protection levels for all of these boxes here, and, and you'll see how the notation works. And I see we're running a little bit long, so we'll start those calculations in the next video.